Each week, a certain salesman is paid a fixed amount equal to $300 plus a commission equal to 5% of the amount of his sales that week over $1,000. What is the total amount that the salesman was paid last week? So, in other words, his total wages for the week, if the sales are under $1,000, then his wage for the week is 300. And if the sales for the week are over a thousand, then the wage is $300 plus a 5% commission. So that's 0.05 times sales minus 1000, the amount of sales that is over five, that is over 1000. And so as long as we know which case we're in, we know what formula to plug into. Well, statement number one tells us the total amount that the salesman was paid last week, his total wages, equals 10% of his amount of sales. So 0.1 times sales. All right, well, that's interesting. Do we know which case we're in? Well, suppose he made less than, than 1,000 in sales and only got paid $300. Well, 300 would be 10% of 3,000, but if he made 3,000 in sales, he wouldn't be in this case. So it's impossible for him to be in case one. He has to be in case two. And case two tells us that the wage, which we know here is 0.1 times S, would equal 300 plus 0.05 times S minus 1,000. So here we have an equation that we could solve for S. And if we could solve for S, then we could solve this for the wage. So we won't go through and actually do the solution that's not required in data sufficiency. All that's required is knowing that, yes, at this point, we could solve. So statement number one is sufficient to answer the question. Statement number two tells us quite simply, his sales are $5,000. Well, if we know the sales, then we can plug into this equation and we can figure out the wage. So again, we don't actually have to go through the steps to do that. It's enough to know that we could do that. This statement supplies sufficient information to answer the question. Both statements are sufficient. Answer choice D.